and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the fastest ways to beat house rules. Now, I have a few methods because obviously, not every method will apply to every scenario, right? Because it's it's football, it's Madden. There's always going to be different scenarios. In one scenario, you're down. In one scenario, you're up. In one scenario, you're tied. Or you're in a good situation, right? Fourth quarter up by 20, you run the ball, right? Let's just use football knowledge there. Fourth quarter, tied, you run and pass. Fourth quarter, down by a lot you pass you know like there's a different ways to play so i gotta really account for that but now house rules this one is awesome because it's like two minutes long quick game get in and out interceptions end it and first downs are points so the first down being points guys is the most beautiful part of it because for me being third and 20 i love it i have perfect passes just for that i'm gonna show you guys some plays in this video so stay tuned to the end of this video because towards the end of the video i'm going to hop into a quick gameplay real quick just to show you guys a few of the passing plays i like to use i'm not really gonna try to win it i'm just gonna show you guys the passing plays i like and the plays i recommend using so stay tuned for all that guys but before we get into the video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell boys come join the family we're halfway to 12k and also guys i challenged you yesterday to get 100 likes on a flashback video and you guys killed it Where's that energy at all the time? Where, where, where are those guys? Where you go? What, what tunnels are you guys hiding in? Come out again, please, today. And then I challenge you guys to get above 200 likes in another video. You guys got 300 likes. You guys are crazy. Guys, I bet you can't today get any video. I, I bet you can't get this video today. This one right here, it's over 300 likes. I bet you can. I want to see you guys. Oh, I don't know where you guys came out of yesterday. That was unreal. Thank you guys for that. Make sure to smash the like button and turn on that noti bell. And also, comment down below. Say what's up. And do you have any other methods to beat this? Now, let's get into this video. Coming over to head-to-head -head seasons, obviously. And my Madden first. All right, so now heading into head-to-head -head season, boys. Let's go check this out. So I'm going to go over a little bit of the rules for you guys, just so you guys have an idea of what we're working with before I give you guys a strategy. So rumble, loss of down, switch it up in this house rules. And by the way, you get a random series Redux player. If you guys didn't already know, this one is auctionable. That has been confirmed on Twitter already, confirmed by many people. So it is not going to be Nat, guys. So this became a lot more worthwhile for two reasons, right? First things first, if they were Nat and you got a bad pull, this sucked. Now, if it's auction, we get a bad pull. It doesn't suck. You know why? Because first, you could sell it. So that's the coins back. And second, I think the Redux market is going to crash. If enough people do it, it will crash. And that makes it a win for everyone. Because now you can, we can all start to afford Redux cards, such as Randy Moss, Aaron Donald, Deion, so on and so forth. So I'm kind of excited for the market to come down a little bit on them. And we could sell them. Like, if you guys pull Randy Moss, you can probably get like a million coins back on them. If you pull them early enough, of course. Now, so the rules are first and 20, three attempts at a first down. A first down is two points and an instant win on interception. So guys, if you come on an offense, the strategy is this simple. You don't really want to score. In my opinion, this is how I've been winning games. I've, I've probably won like 95% of my games. You want to go into the game. You come on a first down. I'll show you guys these plays later on, so stay tuned for that. I like to run my post play and my X drag trail. Each play has at least 10 to 15 yard passes that are usually open on the right against the right defense. And you run that, you get one first down. And you start, no, you, you first off, you chew clock from the, the moment. If you're an offense, you turn on chew clock the second you get into the game. It's a two minute, it's like a three minute game. So if you put on chew clock, literally, if they don't, if they forget to use, and people forget to use their timeouts because they don't think that, they don't, like the game just started. Why am I, why am I worrying about timeouts? They forget. So come in, the second you start the game, hit chew clock. I'll show you guys these plays. I like to throw the out route on post or the over the middle route, extra drag trail or the angle route to my running back. Or if all else fails, I have a drag to Tyree Kill that can easily be cut up the field for 15 yards because they are playing really far back. So that's my combination. So on offense, I like to get my first down. Once I get my first first down, I start chewing clock. And if they don't notice that, if I take three plays and they don't notice that I was chewing clock and there's a minute left, I'll start running the ball. Because realistically, if you get like two first downs and you're chewing the clock, you're up already four points and then I take a field goal. That's my other strategy. So this is, these are the two offensives. So first thing, if you get two first downs and you get into field goal range, take your field goal. You'll have four points plus you have a touchdown. Now they have to score and need to beat you. And if you're chewing clock, if you got two first downs and a field goal and you're chewing clock, you probably left them with about 40 seconds. So you already put yourself in an awesome situation. Do not force balls. Do not force, like there's no point. Interceptions lose the game. So you just lose. So what I like to do is once I'm up by four points, chew the clock out as much as possible because the other person not, can't be that risky. They can't be that risky because if they do, they lose the game instantly. So they're, they're going to play it safe. Although they're dumb because it's the end of the game, you probably should just go for it. You can't play that risky due to the fact that it can end the game so if you start an offense it's so simple get your get your first downs and shoot clock the whole time and then take your field goal and if you can score 
even me, like I go down sometimes. Like if there's a minute left, I'll go down before the first, the end zone and I'll chew the clock out, QB Neal, because it's not worth it to me, especially if they have no timeouts, because they can easily come back and win that game in one play. So, I mean, that is the beauty of this week, though, that although they can win in one play, if you get your first downs first and then you score, it's impossible. Like, they'd have to get every first down. So, they, it's impossible to win in one play if you get your first downs first. So, that's why it's kind of important to get your first downs and then score. Because if you score, you're not going to first downs. It does not count. Now, if you come out on defense, what do I recommend? I have two things I like to recommend. I like cover three blitzes. Now, cover three blitzes work for me because it covers the deep stuff. So, people, because, like, when you run man blitzes this year, people instantly go to their man beaters and they get 80 yard touchdowns on you. So when I run a cover three blitz, people see that I'm blitzing. So the first thing everyone does, the people don't know how to read a blitz. They just think blitz, man beater. No, it's if it's a zone blitz, man beater doesn't work. So people go into their, their, man, their, zone, their man beaters and their man beater is like an out route and then an up route, like a kind of looks like a halfback wheel from a wide receiver route, like an out four verts. Now that route takes really long to develop. And on a zone blitz, by the time they're like, okay, 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 they look to go throw it, and it's like, wait, it's not open, and they get sacked. It's a great play to run on first down. And then if not, I also just run man blitz. I run either or, depending on what the person's capable of. Now, I'm going to hop into this game in just about a second, but defensively, the reason I blitz is because blitzing causes people to do things that they typically wouldn't do. If you sit in the zone, it's simple, right? No one's open, no one's open, scramble, done. Which can work. And no, but that also is a valid strategy because it's third and 20. It's, you're, you're first and 20. So... Zones are like quick little plays if you lock everything down. But the thing is, with it being third and 20, you get the ball back. But the issue is, if you get the ball back and they didn't make a single mistake, you really win. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the other guy's good defensively. I had this one game where I went the whole game back and forth. Me and him couldn't do anything offensively, but our defense were shutting each other down. But you don't get points for defense unless you pick them off. So you kind of do want to play really aggressive. You don't want to play conservative to make them stay. You don't want to make them punt. You want to make them make mistakes, right? So, in my opinion, setting pressure is always the best way to go. First off, you send pressure. They, if, if they, you send zone blitz because they'll think it's a man blitz and they'll throw it up on that wheel, thinking that it's gonna be wide open, easy pick. Or they'll they'll have their they have their zone beater ready to go, but they're getting blitzed. They throw bad passes. Now I'm heading to this game real quick to show you guys a few of the plays I like to run because I know you guys want to see that. Uh, personally, they're pretty great. I mean, you guys probably know them. It's out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook, and out of my defensive playbook, I do run the New York Giants defensive playbook. Why do I run the Giants? I mean. Since last year, two years ago, I've been picking the Giants as my favorite team, obviously. So I always get their playbook to start. And I kind of rock with it. I'm so used to it. Like, I learned the playbook in and out. So for me, switching would just throw me off. I know exactly where every play is, when it is, when I need it. And offensively, I've been rocking with the Patriots playbook since, like, I think, like, Madden 13. I've been using the playbook forever. Patriots always have some of my favorite plays. The way I like to play Madden really just coincides with this playbook, personally. Now, let's wait till we get into this game. All right, guys, so we're starting out on defense. I'm going to come out in a cover one hole. It's not the defense I actually run. I just like to come out in a 3-4. I like to just sit in it. I like to wait to see what they're doing, see what their formation is, then I adjust accordingly, whether it be a cover two, cover three, or a blitz. Now, this guy's taking forever to call his offensive play. Taking a real long time. All right. So, yeah, this seems like a play where I do not want to blitz just yet because this could easily be a out route with the receiver. That little halfback crap I always talk about. Nothing there, nothing there. And there we go. He's perfectly covered. He could throw a flat, but not really the best idea. And that's game. All right. TJ Ward. Uh, Denzel Ward. So uh, that obviously isn't what I want to show you guys. But let me show you guys a little bit of offense, if I if quite possible. I'm going to have to get into another game. All right, we're starting out on offense. All right. So I did the other one, obviously. I intercepted the ball in the first place. So I'm going to be showing you guys this one. Because I want to show you guys some offense, obviously. Because I feel like this is what you need more than the defense. So first thing on this play, post. I'm going to max protect Y. Go so he's leaving Tyree Kill kind of looking kind of naked on the left side. Gonna streak him. He is obviously blitzing the hell out of me. But that's more than okay. So I got A wide open right there. And there we go. So I picked up half the distance. That's all I care about. On this, on this, you don't want to you don't want to get the first try. Because right, any pass that's gonna get that first try probably has a good chance to be picked because of just the length of it, unless you're getting glitchy with it. So there we go. Second and ten. Picked up half the yard as needed. Now let's see if he's gonna blitz me again. And he does. It's all good. Got more than enough space wide open. See what I'm saying? That B receiver. Holt is always open. I don't know what it is about this play. I always find Holt wide open. So there we go. I should have put shoe clock on, because, but he went out of bounds, so I didn't. He's going to keep blitzing me, so I can just keep running the same play. There we go. We got RB. Just an easy read. Get the ball down. Get the clock going. Now I'm putting on shoe clock. Now change up the play call. So obviously, there's in shotgun, extract trail, two down, A is post. So I'm going to run extract trail here. This is my other play I like to run. When they're sitting in cover twos or blitzes like this, A will get naked on this play. So you're going to see it right here. Most likely, unless he gets to me really fast. He got he got wide open, but he got to me really fast. But there we go. He blitzed me again. But the point being here is that you always want to be chewing clock. 
because obviously if you chew clock you're going to be able to maintain the game and waste enough time so they can't do much and I got my lead already obviously so that's what's important always want to get that first down lead all right so we're gonna pin them to the two as you guys can see always you just gotta get that lead right kill enough time easy pick right there as you guys can see and that pretty much wraps up the game I didn't really care about winning this game, although I did. I just want to show you guys the plays I ran and how to really run them. And I think you guys saw in those two plays that I ran exactly the looks you're looking for. That kind of shows you exactly what you're doing. I still ended up winning, guys. The defense works, like I told you. I'm going to show you guys some other clips from the other games so you guys can have an idea of the defense I run with the offense I run. That kind of puts it all together. That together has gotten me like at least a 95 win percentage. I pretty much win almost every game I play. Even if I mess up offensively, I do chew enough clock to where I put them in a, a, a frantic mode where they feel like they have to score fast. So I, that alone, that stress really gets to them. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Comment down below. Say what's up. Tuesday morning gang. If you made it this far, always remember to comment that. Say what's up. And if you haven't already, guys, don't forget. I'm challenging you guys. Can you get 300 likes? You guys killed it yesterday. I didn't think you could do it yesterday. But 300 likes is a little absurd. I don't know where you guys all came from, but you better have that same energy today and like the video. I'm out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this guys helped. I hope this helps you guys. I'm out. Peace.